live. We're definitely live. We are live. Yes. I welcome to the ALFWC plug in show. Welcome. Yes, and I am Tanasia. You guys already know me, but we have a special guest tonight. I'm Introduce guest. yourself. My name is Alexis yes. Waddell. Yes. Um, I've been a member here at Abundant Life for like 20 years or something yes. like that a long time ago me too yes and i serve on the women's ministry yes. yes so we have a women's ministry guest with us here tonight i'm so excited are you excited i'm very excited that's no i'm good. souped up I'm, I'm taking it back to the 80s that's i'm good. souped You're up not nervous right i'm absolutely souped up no i'm expecting okay great okay, okay i am expecting okay great yes all right perfect. okay i'm gonna try to bring it down i'm expected i'm excited <laughs> no we like listen i've been anticipating the show i've been waiting okay. i've been all in, and then adjust us girls facebook page listen so i've been y'all Listen, everything that everybody has posted about this conference, I yes. believe it. So I yes. came here expecting, and okay. I'm excited. Listen, that's me too, all right? Yeah. I had to run here from work, run to class real quick, and run upstairs. And we had a little situations happening, but God is good. Uh, amazing. Okay. He was with us the whole time. The whole time. He's the reason that God, he's the thing that got us here God on time here. and safely. Safely. What? Safe and sound. Yes. Safe and secure. What's the old song say? Safe and secure from all along. I thought it was safe in his arms. Cause I'm, I'm no, a there is a song. There is a older. song that's safe in yeah. his arms. But it's a, uh, what is it? Leaning on the everlasting arms. Arms. Safe and secure from all along. You just going to put me on the spot because you in the choir? No, no. And you know all the words and all the songs? Oh, well, that's the old hymn I learned oh. from my old church. I but I, I know we safe. <laughs> we safe. I know his promises. Either way, we safe. Okay. I know he got us here. <laughs> I know he's in the building. Yes. So what we need you to do is we need you to share. Yes, you please. have to share this. Share this with your friends. Share this with your family. Absolutely. If you're on Facebook, just share it on your post real quick. Yes. If you are on YouTube, yes. you can text it to like one of your friends. Yes. Or, you know, just let them know, like, hey. Yes. Because guess what today is? My anniversary was Sunday. What's today? The Just Us Girls oh, Encounter. Oh, it is the Just Us Girls Encounter. It is day one. Day one. Day one of four. Four. Day one yes, of four. So Thursday, Friday, yes, yes. Saturday, and Sunday. Give yes. you everything. You know, God is going to give you everything you need. Everything. He's going to meet you here. Yes. And, you know, God orchestrates things like this for the things that you've been praying for and believing God for. Yes. There's times when God does things in a corporate yes. setting of yes. worship and yes. praise. Absolutely. And I'm telling you, he has something for you tonight. He does. And, and this is only the saint, first day. Share. It's share. It's only the time. first day. It's only the first day. There's no telling what God is going to do as the days are coming. And yes. this conference is hosted by, this encounter yes. is hosted by our very own Pastor, Pastor Mary. Mary. See right, yes. Okay, yes. Our own Pastor Mary, yes. we are so excited. Yes, we are so excited so about excited. what she has prepared. Yes, what she has labored for. What God has okay, put in her for us. Yes, just yes. for us. Yes, yeah. and I absolutely cannot wait to see what God is going to offer us during I can't this wait. conference. I want something every day. Every day. Can I be greedy with God? Yes. I want something. Get something every day. Listen. Get something every day yes. from God. I want something every day for the conference. I'm yes. expecting something every day. So if you're expecting something, what we want you to do, we want you to drop some pink hearts yes. in the comment section. Please. Yeah. I know it might be some guys in the comment section, but you could drop the pink hearts yes. as well. It's okay. Real men wear pink. Drop Real men love. Drop the, the love. Okay, they could do the, the, love the heart hands. Yeah. The heart hands. Well, we do have emojis now for the heart hands. Yes. 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 <laughs> they have the, you know, the little minor brown. Yes. Minor yes. Minor brown. brown. Minor brown. <laughs> minor mocha. Mocha. <laughs> yes. 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 So minor brown. So you could do the little emoji heart yes. to let us know that you are watching. And you know what? Tell us what you're expecting God to do. Yes. You know, day one, right? Because yes. you know what? Tanae's going to be here for four days. But tonight, what are you expecting God to do tonight in this I'm, building, I'm, in this atmosphere? What if I wasn't going to be here you know, for four days? You know, you're going to be here. <laughs> Today's gonna be it. I'm gonna be it. It's not the same when you're not here. here. I know. I'm gonna you be it. I'll be I'm looking. I'll be, be expecting you. I to got be my here. gas money ready because Lord Jesus spent 40 gonna minutes. Here. Okay. Yeah. Yes. I am going to be here. But we're gonna start things off <laughs> yes. a little differently. Okay. Yes. Oh yeah. Start thinking. <laughs> you know what? That's right. Forgot my assignment. I want to play a game. <laughs> yeah. Can we play a game? You it's gonna to be a, game? a really quick game. Okay. Just to listen. It don't have to be quick. We got some time. We got a little bit of time. Okay. It's my first time here. Am I acting like a guest? No. I'm at home. You're natural. We might have to put you on the sketch. Okay. Yes. <laughs> it's just a little game. Yes, yes. So just for us just to list yes. 10 things, right? Our top 10 list. Top Our 10 Just list. Us Girls yes. top 10 list. Sorry, yes. guys. No, please. This part is not for you. I don't know. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> We're flowing. Yeah. 
we, <laughs> we're excited. We can't get past God's, God's presence in here. It's yes. just joy. So we're going to name a category. Yeah. And when we name that category, we're yes. going to give our top 10 items. Yes. So we want you to play along with us. In the comments. In the comments. In play the along comments. with us. And let us know what your top 10s are. Yes. And if you can't come up with 10 things, it's okay. Yes. Just play along. We're just going to have a good time. Yes. Okay. I want to play. Can I play? Yes. Okay. okay. We play. Okay. So the first first category, what are your top 10 mm. beauty, self-care, skincare products? Mm. Dermalogica. Okay. At the top. Okay. The vitamin C serum okay. and the moisturizer. Okay. And it, okay. You know, I have dark circles because okay. I'm anemic. Okay. And it helps with the dark circles. Hyperpigmentation. Okay. Yes. She's putting us on, y'all. The whole line, Dermalogica. She's putting us you on. You know what? They're going to have to pay... Uh, some advertising. Yeah, yeah. Wait okay, a minute. what about you? We're about to not give any names because we didn't have no sponsor. <laughs> so yes. one of my top favorite products, um, my skincare products that I use, I recently got into Korean skincare. And Ooh. as you can see, no, I'm not Korean. No. Um, but their products are so pure and so clean. Mm. Yes. So I use a product line called Mixoon, like and that. it has my skin looking like I have a foundation even when I don't have a foundation. And I'm telling you, I'm right here. It's beautiful. Yeah, Your skin is thank flawless. Thank you. And I do you have on a great. beat, but if I was to wipe this beat off, it would still look good. <laughs> I've seen silly. you without makeup. You're beautiful. Yeah, thank you. Yes. Thank you. It was still lips the same. Tell somebody in the comments that they're beautiful. Yes. Everybody out there is beautiful. Yeah. And guys, you are handsome. You are amazing. Yes. Women, we love you. Yes. I don't care what size you are. I don't care what height you are. Yes. I'm 6'4". Ooh, I am. I'm 5'3 and a half. Like, and look at God made okay. us perfect. I want my half. In his image. <laughs> I want right? my half. Absolutely. Go on, I take your that. half. You want a little bit? I'll get a little bit. <laughs> five, you gotta five, back. three and a half. Okay, so chores. <laughs> yes. Top 10 chores you love. Okay. I'm not going to lie. I say, we just name one. One chore you okay. love, one chore you hate. Okay. Um, Dishes. I don't like dishes. You don't have a dishwasher? I have a dishwasher. Okay, good. God but everything doesn't you. go in like the pots and stuff. Sometimes I let it soak. Got a pre-wash. And it be God soaking it for soak. three days. That yeah, chicken, because you know, that seasoning is out the bottom. But now Come you can real get it real good exactly. on a third day. Now you can just pour yeah. it out and it's already like. I've adopted that clean. from my team. Yes. Mom is soaking. He's soaking. He's soaking. Okay, yeah. Right, right. We marinating it like yes. it's a meat. Yeah. So yes. you hate dishes. What do you love? Cleaning my refrigerator. Oh, that's and a good one. And let me just one. tell you why. This is why I think it is, right? Honestly, because before God blessed my husband and I with a mm -hmm. home, I told him what, everything I wanted in the home. Mm -hmm. And I told him I wanted a specific type of tel uh, refrigerator. Mm -hmm. And it was when we bought the house, it was the one mm -hmm. that we, um, that I wanted to ask God for. Yeah. And so I appreciate it. Yeah. To me, it's, a, it's it's me constantly saying, God, thank you. Yeah. You know, even for the refrigerator. Yeah. It is the exact one with the freeze on the bottom that I, I asked him for. Yes. The same exact one. Yes. And I appreciate it. So I want to take care of what God gave me yes. and what I asked for. Yes. And so I, I, my favorite thing to clean is the refrigerator. Yes. Inside and out. Yes. My refrigerator is always, y'all can come over and get something right out the refrigerator. Right, 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 right. <laughs> so my favorite, my favorite thing to clean is the bathroom. Okay. I love, and I know some people's like, oh my God, no, that's no. I love to clean the bathroom. I just love a nice sparkly tub, a nice mm -hmm. sparkly sink, a mm -hmm. nice, like, you know, the toilet. I love cleaning yes. the bathroom. I hate washing dishes, oh, but right. I love, like, I will get on my knees and I will be in yes. that tub. You know, yes. you sprinkle the common in it. Yes, like seasoning. Season. Like seasoning. You got to season that season. tub. Yes. Tub seasoning. Season. Yeah, tub season. season that tub and, you know, just get it ready, get it clean. So that yes. is, that is, that is one of my favorite yes. things to clean. Yes, I like and when you too. smell the bleach, you know you're about to almost pass out. Mm, that's how you know that's that, how that bathroom clean. is clean. And I would use your bathroom. Yeah, because if you're not lightheaded, mm -hmm. that bathroom's not clean. If I go and I say, you know what, I don't have to, I don't have to go no more. But <laughs> right. I, it's good to know I can go at you. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. What about y'all? Put them in the comments because yes. we're gonna read them. We want to know. Yes, your favorite beauty, beauty products. Yes. What do you love? What do you hate about cleaning? You know, but they say cleanliness is next to godliness. Yes. So we really should hate cleaning anything, but. I can't do them dishes. I can't. I, I can't dishwasher either. me. I will not move somewhere if it's not a dishwasher. I'm not mm, gonna be able mm, to. Mm, uh, but when the when the dishwasher and the is full and I, you gotta still okay, do the dishes on right. top. Well, I, I yeah. need you to make a yeah. decision. Mm -mm, you need my cleaning lady. <laughs> but we'll talk about that I, later. Yes. Hallelujah. Send me the number. I asked so for one. Listen. Ask God. He'll send. Yes. He'll send. send me a Christian. You better walk around one. the house and start expect praying. One. Okay. Housekeeper for you. Yes. Yes. So listen, we've been talking about this conference for weeks. Yes. If you have watched the plug in show, you have heard this conference. You have heard us talking about this encounter with God. Yes. Tonight's theme, because there's a theme for every night, yes. tonight's theme is the beginning encounter. 
Yes. Okay, so I want to know, like, is there anything specific mm. that you want God to do over these next few days, like, in this beginning encounter, in this first day? Yes. Like, what are you looking for from God? I want God's will. That has been my prayer most recently. Mm -hmm. I know that I'm in a restoration season with God, has mm -hmm. been restoring me. I can yes. cry right now, but I won't because we don't have time. Mm. Yes. But God, I thank you. Yes. I'm in a restoration season. Yes. And it has caused me to say, God, your will, your way. Yes. I didn't even know you can do the type of restoring that you're doing in me that you've already done. And so now I trust you. So my prayer lately has been, God, your will, your way, whatever you see, take it out. Yes. You yes. know? Yes. I mean, that's yes. just, what about you? I am expecting God to do some amazing things. When I think of beginning encounter, yeah. I think about when I first experienced mm. him. When I first had an experience with yeah. God. When I first encountered God. Yeah. That's what I that's like what a refreshing, I am a renewing. For. Yes. 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 That's Absolutely. what I'm looking for. Yes. So what I want to listen. Yes. We was talking about the beginning encounter. We talk about the things we love. We yeah. talk about the things we hate. Yeah. So we are going to yeah. turn this thing over. Turn it over. Turn this thing it was over. Nice meeting you, you all. Ready to no, we coming back. We coming back. We coming back. They okay. Keep me, we not leaving. But we are going to turn this thing over. Yes. To Free and Brittany. Free and Brittany. Our co-hosts. Yes. Free and Brittany. Free and Brittany. That are going to be talking about fashion. Oh yeah. Okay, because the girls love fashion. Oh, and so do you. And if you know fashion Free and you know them. Brittany, you know that fashion is is their thing. Absolutely. Okay, so Free and Brittany, I hope y'all ready because we're sending ready? it over to y'all right now and we'll be back. And I want the notes. Yes, yes. Thank you. I love comfy and cozy. Thank you. Perfect. So let's get into it. So, Brittany, tell me some of your favorite places to shop. Tell me about like, do you like shopping online? Do you thrift? Are you like an in-person shopper? And you know what? You out there. Also, let us know where you Please shop. Please drop as it well. in the comments. We want to drop know. it in the comments. <laughs> so for me, mm -hmm. I love polo. That's my love it. That's my number one. But Absolutely. I'm also I wouldn't say that I am a thrifter. But what I will say is I love a good bargain. I love a good bargain. I'm not oh, really like it. big on like huge designer things. Mm -hmm. Like I, I have a few, but I'm not like, oh, I need this Louis. I need this Christian Louis. Right. Like I'm like, if it's cute, mm -hmm. I like it. I'll get it. I love it. So that's our fit check for today for fashion with just us girls. Mm -hmm. And right now, are we? Well, actually, we have to continue this because one thing they wanted us to talk about was Modest dressing. Oh, absolutely. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if I'm that modest today. <laughs> but I promise you, I love, love, love it. I love yes. every second of it. Because you know what? Your best accessory is definitely your confidence. Mm -hmm. So whatever you have on, it does not matter. Mm -hmm. We will wear everything we have in everything. confidence. Everything, exactly. And so for me, I feel like... First of all, if you it's a dress modest, you really have to be comfortable, right? Absolutely. Like you have to be comfortable with who you are, yes. who, who God has created you to be, who Absolutely. He has called you to be, yes. where you're going. Mm -hmm. So I feel like for modest dressing, it's all about okay, if I was going to be face to face with the Lord, how would I want to go see Him? Oh, well, I, that, that, that's I try amazing. to think about that. Like if I if I'm trying to figure out, oh, is this appropriate? I think to myself, like, okay, if I was going on a date with the Lord, like, what would I wear? Like, Absolutely. I'm not gonna sit here and if wear. If we're going out to eat, right? If we're going out to eat with God, and we're Absolutely. like, and that's how we should think anyway, because you know we're with God. He's with us every day. <laughs> I mean, seriously, he's seriously, our present. Exactly. So definitely don't want to wear anything that's going to offend the Father. Exactly. <laughs> so that's what I think about modesty, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, I try to I try to keep that in mind. There was one point where I was like, I'm going to wear this and I'm going to wear that. But as time has gone on, I was like, okay, Brittany, like. It's growth. It's growth. And it's then Pastor Mary also be like, uh, I remember one time, <laughs> one time I came to church with a belly shirt on. 
But I can not, like crop I can bring top. it. It was a crop top. <laughs> I'm not gonna hold you. But I can like kind of bring it up and down a little bit. Mm -hmm. So it was like connecting just at the jean. And I remember I was hugging Pastor Mary, and she was like, "I love you so much, sweetie." And you know, you know, next time longer shirts. And I really, I'm praying for you. Yes. And I said, did you just try to check me? <laughs> and definitely did because Pastor did. Mary is the fashion godmother. Yes. She's my fashion godmother. She's your fashion godmother. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure she's your fashion she godmother as well. 28 years of my life. She Absolutely. <laughs> yes. Fashion Mary is the definite example of modest fashion. And she be killing. She kills. So what is your time. favorite accessory? So... Let's think about this. Like, you know, besides confidence, I, I believe mm, that's that. so good. Yeah, confidence is really my favorite accessory. I like that. Like, literally, there are some things that I can find in a thrift store. Mm. And when you wear it with confidence, trust me, no one knows what you have on. Mm -hmm. They don't know that this was secondhand. Or mm. they wouldn't know that this came from the rainbow shop. Or right. they wouldn't know that, you know, we shop in Target. Oh, I so, love me some Target. I love me some Target. <laughs> like, you know, people are like, oh, Target. Eh. But I love Target. I love Target. And if I get a little two ninety nine dollars t-shirt, shirt from Walmart, mm -hmm. promise you, I'm, I'm hooking that up with some jeans, a nice belt. Yes. You know, sometimes I'll do a pump or a good shoe mm -hmm. or something. Mm -hmm. You know, just be fitting however you want to wear it. So, my accessory will be my confidence. Mm -hmm. What about you? My answer definitely wasn't confidence, <laughs> but I love that answer. <laughs> but I'm yeah. more of like a bangles. Oh, I, I love, love that. Love arm candy. Arm candy. I love arm candy. When I tell you, when I find the right mixture to put together, mm -hmm. oh, I literally I will probably it. use that mixture until I find something else I love that it. I like. Love I it. love arm candy. I love jewelry. I love hearing the sound that it makes. Like if I'm shaking my arm and stuff. Oh, yes. You guys will see me as I'm doing the plug in show. Like I'll be like, nah, nah, nah. <laughs> speaking with your hands. Yes. <laughs> I love, love yes. arm candy. I love it. But too. being that you said confidence, <laughs> hmm. That was really a good one. I'm gonna say <laughs> attitude for me. Oh wow! I'm gonna say attitude. I love it. And I'm actually it. working on my attitude. Same here. So I feel I like that. I'm gonna start using that as motivation. Perfect. For me to have an accessory like that, so that I can be able to really exude a great, gracious, God-fearing, loving Absolutely. attitude. Absolutely. Yeah, because you know, attitude, tone, confidence, yes. it literally goes hand in hand. Yes. You out there at the A Church, please let us know what your favorite accessory is. And we're literally about to move into yes, Just Us Girls. This is the first night and I am so excited. excited. Make sure you guys like, tag, and share. And make sure you tag Pastor Mary, tag ALFWC, and I promise you, we do appreciate you. See Stay you tuned. Later. See you later. At 27 weeks pregnant, I went in for a checkup to see how my baby was growing. I was informed that I'd need to be admitted as there was fluid in my baby's belly, the blood flow from me to the baby was not consistent, and there was interuterine growth, causing my 27-weeker to measure as about 23 weeks. Within 24 hours of being admitted and monitored continuously, I was being prepared for a C-section. 
The doctors and the nurses were able to deliver my one pound, seven ounce baby, put him on a ventilator and rush him to the NICU where he'd spend the next 98 days receiving care. 38 days on a ventilator, receiving blood transfusions every week for the first two months of his life and 85 days on the feeding tube. Today, Austin has been medically cleared by pulmonology, hematology, ophthalmology, the genetic team, and all other specialists at the hospital. Doctors and nurses still scratch their heads about this case, but the reality is that our miracle is not in the hands of science alone, but in the hands of God. I thank God that in the midst of all we went through, he gave us the strength to remain good steward over what was and what was to come. Prayer makes the difference, and through it, we encounter God's power like never before. On August 20th, 2003, my family structure changed. It was the day my divorce was finalized. I wish I could say it was unhappy, but the truth is, I was relieved that it was over. The things that happened to me in my marriage caused me to be unforgiving of my ex-husband. The unforgiveness was like a weight, and it got heavier and heavier every day. The more I thought about what transpired over the years, my heart grew harder towards him. It affected my behavior, my thoughts, and how I treated people. I was angry all the time, and I said, I will never forgive him. It wasn't until I got tired of carrying the weight of unforgiveness that I made the decision to forgive him. I cried out to God in prayer and repented for holding unforgiveness in my heart towards him. I chose to let go of the bitterness, anger, and resentment and allow God to heal my heart. It was in that moment that I encountered God as Jehovah Rapha, my healer. He healed my heart, he healed my mind, he healed me in my emotions and in my feelings. Jesus came to set the captives free and who the sun sets free is free indeed. Prayer makes the difference and through it, we encounter God's power like never before. My grief was good for me. This is my testimony now, but it wasn't my testimony then. At the age of 32, I entered a season of consecutive losses that I was unfamiliar with. In 2016, my grandmother, my best friend, went home to be with the Lord. In 2017, we lost our home. In 2018, I began to lose the version of my mother that I knew all of my life due to dementia. In 2019, I lost my job. In 2020, my mother passed away. In 2021, my father passed away. And just a few months ago, my uncle passed away. And although these years could be categorized with consecutive losses, there's two things that I did not lose. I didn't lose my mind and I didn't lose my faith. Grief was good for me because it led me to fully lean and depend on the only one who knew exactly what I felt and could provide me what I needed. God gave me grace for my grief. I experienced the strength that only he could provide. And I know him to be a mender of a broken heart, the wiper of my tears and the giver of all comfort. Grace makes the difference. And through it, we encounter God's power like never before. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus, we thank you for your healing power. We thank you for the ways that you've healed us and the ways that you will heal us. We surrender our suffering tonight that we may encounter your healing power, Jesus.
There are women in this room that are waiting for you, that want to touch the hem of your garment, that they may be healed. So God, we call out all the women who are dealing with sickness and disease, cancer, diabetes, endometriosis, infertility, lupus, depression, anxiety, stress. We know that your healing is not limited to the physical. So God, touch our minds, touch our hearts, heal us of offense in the name of Jesus. God, we thank you for every woman gathered here. And I pray specifically for the women who are dealing with the issue of being barren in the spiritual and in the physical. We come against miscarriages of our gifts. We come against miscarriages of our purpose. We decree and declare that you can trust us to carry the gifts that you placed inside of us. So God, give us the strength to accept your healing. Help us to be active participants in our healing, Jesus. I've seen you do it, so God, do it again. I've seen you do it, so God, do it again. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Let the restored of the Lord say so. And let the healed of the Lord say so. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hey, Shama Sata. Father, we thank you tonight. And we ask you to forgive us on tonight for holding unforgiveness in our hearts on tonight, Lord God. I pray that you would deliver us. I pray that you would mend our broken hearts, oh God, those things uh, that have calloused our hearts and we have held unforgiveness against someone or against you, God, or against the situation. I pray in the name of Jesus uh, that we will let it go and allow you to heal us. Uh, oh God, you are a healer tonight and so father I pray that you will lift every weight lift the weight of unforgiveness you forgave us so father cause us to forgive others just as you have forgiven us I pray in the name of Jesus that you will free us in the name of Jesus Christ that we will walk in freedom free from unforgiveness that no matter how many times we are offended huh? we will huh, forgive huh? how can we say we love you huh? and we haven't seen you huh? and we hate our brother and sister that we see every day huh? I pray in the name of Jesus huh, that we will let it go huh, and allow your Holy Spirit huh, to heal us huh, to deliver us huh, to set us free huh, by your power huh, in the mighty name huh, of Jesus Father, in the name of Jesus, we come before you tonight, having gone through seasons of loss, having gone through seasons of grief, but God, we thank you that as we went through those seasons, you kept us in the midst of it. God, you kept our minds and you kept us whole. Father, we thank you that the grief did not destroy us. Father, we thank you that depression did not overtake us. Father, we thank you that loss did not cause us to lose faith in you. Because God, you are the healer. You are the one who comforts every broken heart. We know you to be a mender tonight. So God, for every woman in the room who has come with a broken heart, who has come with the weight of grief on them, we pray now in the name of Jesus that you would lift the burden of grief tonight. That you would restore to us, oh God, the comfort that you promised you would give us. We thank you for strength tonight. We thank you for healing tonight. We thank you for forgiveness tonight. Now, God, we've come in this room. We've been waiting in anticipation. We've been expecting a mighty move from you. So, King of glory, come in the room. King of glory, come in the room. Throw your weight around. We are waiting for you. We've made room for you. Now, have your way. Father, you declared that you inhabit the priest of your people so your daughters have joined tonight to lift up our hands your daughters have joined tonight to lift up our voice your daughters have joined tonight in the presence of our father to say thank you for the encounter thank you for the move of God thank you that we will never be the same thank you that we are forever changed thank you thank you thank you
Jesus. Jesus. Glory to God. The encounter has already started. Yes. The encounter has already started. Come on, women of God. Surrender everything to the Lord as we encounter his presence. Praise on the mountain. I'll praise when I'm sure, and I'll praise when I'm doubting. I'll praise when outnumbered. I'll praise when surrounded. Cause praise is the water, my enemies drowning. As long as I'm breathing, as long as
Just lift your voices to the only one who's worthy, the only one deserving. We didn't come all this way for a service. We didn't come all this way for a song. Sing it again, he's the lamb. 
the lamb that was slain before the foundation. This is who we're singing to tonight. First born from the dead, beginning and end. Oh, and you will forever be high and exalted.
Let me hear you lift your voice and sing it to the Lord. Everybody. Come on, holy congregation, lift it up to the Lord. In harmony we sing. Praise are you, Lord. Take a deep breath and sing one more time, everybody. Praise are you, Lord. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to God, glory. declare that he is here the Holy One of Israel is here I want to pray real quick but I need you to understand something what's needed please understand what I'm about to say pray for me what's needed is not so much more preaching and word and word while I know that preaching directs us preaching instructs us preaching gets us to go deeper into the realm of the spirit through the word of the Lord but if you want to get his presence people can preach all night and not have his presence but if you want to get his presence he inhabits the praises of his people when you worship here he comes Encountering the magnificence of his Holy Spirit I'm going to ask you to do me a favor to find a way to die I need you to find a way to let your flesh die I need you to find a way to crucify your flesh because everything about him is through his spirit your three parts spirit, soul and body don't let your body outweigh your spirit don't let your soul outweigh your spirit. For he that the spirit has set free is free indeed. You're holding on to a free person who belongs to an awesome God. So we add our agreement for what you're going to do, what you're about to do, what you have already planned to do. 
draw us nearer give us a pleasure the pleasure of enjoying the beauty of your presence and then awaken our consciousness through your holy spirit not by the generation of the flesh by by the participation and an involvement by your holy spirit spirit of the living god ah fall afresh upon these women tonight do what only you can do lift satisfy draw and complete your perfect plan for their lives we ask this in jesus name squeeze that hand a little bit shake that hand up a little bit now let that hand go and go for yourself right now in the presence On your way to your seat, tell your neighbor he's here and I know it. before so I have a few announcements tonight and I want to tell you about this weekend are you guys excited about this weekend so tomorrow night someone say tomorrow we want you to join us for our prophetic encounter with prophet Barbara Calloway it's gonna be amazing we're gonna start prayer at 7 p.m and service is gonna start at 7.30. It's going to be an impactful night, so be sure to arrive early and come expectant. Okay, someone say Saturday. So Saturday is our joy encounter. So now Saturday, I have to tell you, this is just for the ladies. So men, you know, stay home, or you can come just be around the building with us. But this is going to be a fun-filled day for the ladies at 12 p.m. Okay? So Saturday is going to be all about joy and connection and fellowship. It's good to be in fellowship with one another, right? So we come and ask that you would unwind with us and that you would have some good fun with one another. Make sure you come out, bring your friends, bring a girlfriend with you, and come get ready to be joyful for an unforgettable time. And then Sunday, someone say Sunday. Sunday. It's going to be our pink out day. How many got a little bit of pink in your closet? I see it around the room. So whether you're a male or female, come wear a touch of pink. We encourage everyone to pink out for, in honor of our survivor conquerors. Yes, let's give it up for our conquerors. And 
so it's been an incredible year with just us girls, hasn't it? And we have been so blessed to come together in so many ways throughout the year, whether it was unforgettable, just us girls pajama party. How many remember the pajama party? We've connected online and each moment has brought us closer together as we pursue God. Hasn't that been amazing? And so it's truly been an eventful year filled with joy, laughter, and fellowship. So now we're gonna take a quick look at some of the highlights that we have experienced together this year. Pay attention to the screens. I love y'all. to look back and reflect and thank God for all that he has done for us but tonight I want to also you got it okay you know I don't mind serving I'm a servant leader but I want to just thank you all for being here this evening and I want to appreciate all the ladies that work with me anybody has worked in any aspect of ministry with me I need you to stand up all of the girls I need you to stand up and I want to give you some love thank you women's council volunteers yes Thank you, thank you, media, plug-in show, wherever, ushers, greeters, everybody is important. I did not want to wait to the end of the encounter. I wanted to do it at the top because I appreciate your labor of love. And with that being said, all of you are special, all of you are important. Can somebody clap up somebody and say, I thank God for you. Yes. Also this evening, I want to give some love. I want to show some um, love to her and want her to know that she is special to all of us here at Abundant Life. Can y'all just give God praise for Jeanette Brown? <laughs> Jeanette, we love you. Keep clapping, keep clapping till she comes up. Let her feel the love. This was a surprise. We love you, Jeanette. We appreciate you. You are a gift from God to us. And we just want to just say thank. I give a hug first. Thank you. Thank you for answering all my calls. Might have been a little late some nights, but you were always there. Even in your travels, you will always check in anything you need, whatever. What can I do? How can I serve? And we know here at Abundant, that's the spirit she has all the time. So we want to give you your flowers while you can smell them. We want you to know that we thank God for you. We love you, and you are the best. You're welcome. Come on, clap a little bit more, a little bit more. If, thank you. How many know I said it today, it's nice to be nice? Sometimes you need to send somebody a text message, just a nice emoji. Get up early in the morning. When they get up, they see it, they be like, oh, my Lord, I feel loved. I feel appreciated. And I say that for the sisterhood because we really need each other. 
And so that's why I wanted to do it tonight. She um, works closely with me in administration with our women's council. And again, every one of you are important to me, but I just wanted to give. Now listen, I love it when we can celebrate each other. That's what's so important. Celebrating one another, loving on each other. And now we're going to ready to move into another part of the service that we all can participate. Elder Inga's going to come now and take us a little bit further. Don't you get tired. If you're online, share, like, comment, tag, tell somebody to join in with us today. CC Wine and set it off this morning. All right. <laughs> Talking about holiness is beautiful. So let's get ready to receive our gifts today. Good evening. How many of us know that the attitude that we have to give matters? It matters. Uh, First Chronicles 29 and 9 says, Then the people rejoice because they had give willingly, for with a whole heart they had offered freely to the Lord. David the king also rejoiced greatly. Let's give that some context. David was leaving the scene. Solomon was coming on the scene and they were building the temple, the house. And so David gave a tremendous offering and then the leaders gave an offering and then the people gave an offering and they gave freely and they gave joyfully. Why? Because they understood that if they build a strong house that it would cultivate a strong people. I'm gonna say that again. The people understood that if they gave joyfully, if they gave rejoicing, that it would build a strong house. And in turn, it would cultivate a strong people. How many of you know at Abundant Life, we build a strong house? So it's cultivating strong people. So I pray on today that you would give freely, rejoicing, in love. Listen, how many of you know that conferences like this take money to do? And nine times out of ten, when you register, there is a fee. On tonight, many of us registered, but it was free. So for such a great and awesome conference that we're about to embark upon, because the Lord has already been here. Oh, shut up. The Lord has already been here, and he's here now. So I'm going to ask that you give on today. I'm going to ask that, uh, I believe they're going to put the ways that we can pay up on the screen. So Father, we say thank you. We bless you. We praise you. We magnify you. We rejoice on today, oh God. We come with a grateful heart to give back to the house. Because we understand when we build up a house, it cultivates a strong people. So God, we come with our hearts and our minds prepared. We come with rejoicing in our heart, with a whole heart to give back to the kingdom of God. So God, I pray that you would bless your people as they give on today. Oh God. God, I pray that they shall have no lack, oh God, but they shall have an abundant overflow, oh God. I pray that every need would be met, whether it be financial, whether it be physical, whether it be in their marriage, whether it be with their children. God, I pray that you would send what they need because they gave to this strong house. And so, God, in everything we glorify you and we bless you in Jesus' name. So we can all rise and come to the front and give our offerings. And those online, please give on tonight. Be blessed. Yeah, we good. Okay. Let me know when you're ready. Oh, we're on. Hi, guys. It is so what good to see you again. Already. Oh my goodness, it was so good already. already. If you missed it, please go back for the replay because yes. it was everything. Go go back Even after th service because like, you can't seriously. miss anything else. You like. can't miss anything else. <laughs> Literally, like for real, like. The, the praise and worship. Yeah, that was amazing. Praise and worship encounter was amazing. I love, I love seeing a whole bunch of women praise together. And yes. now we're in offering. And yes. let me tell you, I love, everyone knows by now, I love offering. I do too. <laughs> so it is my favorite part of service, literally. honestly. I say the same yes. thing. I say the same thing. So you are able to see those different ways to give at the bottom of your screen. Yes. And just go forth. <laughs> yes, exactly. So what does offering mean to you? Like, how, how what does so, that mean to you? Like, seriously. 
I always say, like, if I give God 90%, I mean, if I give God 10% and he allows me to have 90, mm -hmm. the 10% multiplies like endlessly wow. there is no end to how my 10 percent yes, multiplies and yes. sometimes you look at it like you know what i'm kind of living on a budget mm -hmm. so you know i can't really do all the things that i want to do but mm -hmm. i have as much as i need mm -hmm. but the thing with that is there's so much more when i give the 10 percent wow. than when yes. i hold on to it yeah, yeah. yeah so Trust me, it's my favorite part. I'm able to do something and give back to God. Yes, I feel like offering for me is like a way for me to surrender and submit. Oh, that's good. Right? Oh, like that, is, <laughs> that is so good. It helps me just be like, okay, you know what, Brittany, like, this is something that can really show your gratitude towards the Lord. Absolutely. And just be like, you know what, God, thank you for all that you've done. I'm giving this back to you. Exactly. So I, I feel like for offering for me, it's like, okay, God, like, you can trust me. You can, tr you can trust me. You can trust me. You can trust me. Yes, because you know what? He makes little much, right? Yes, so if he so can good. trust you with the little things, imagine what he's going to do and multiply it. It's like training. Yeah, seriously. It's like training. This is definitely training. I love it. <laughs> and you know, he we know he's a God of multiplication. Yes. He is definitely not a God of subtraction. And he don't play, okay? And he don't play about he me. Play and he don't play about you. <laughs> he don't play about his kids. He's going to make sure that we are provided for. So it's like, Absolutely. just trust him. Whatever you have, give it to him and know that he is, he knows the bills we have, right? Absolutely. He knows the things we want to do, things we desire. I could be like, oh God, I have something planned this weekend. <laughs> and he'd be like, Brittany, give me that money. I give him the money and I get a call like, you know what, Brittany, I'm going to pay for you this weekend. Seriously. You just never, you never, you never know, know unless you just try to trust him. Exactly. Just because do it. The Bible says, whatsoever man soweth, that shall he also reap. So we want to sow and we want to give. You better get that scripture. You better. <laughs> so we want to definitely give. So don't forget to give, guys. Yes. And I promise you it's coming back to you. It is coming back. So we're going to go back into the service. Please yes. stay tuned with us. Yeah, we're just so, us, girls. Just us girls are so excited to see you after service. We love you guys. See you soon. We love you. <laughs>
will break you to position you, break you to promote you, and break you to put you in your right place. But when he breaks you, he doesn't hurt you. He doesn't, when he breaks you, he doesn't destroy you. He does it with grace. Ah! Anybody been gracefully broken where? Ooh. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. So, Father, tonight we're broken before you. Thank you for handling us with grace. Yeah. Woo. Just lift your worship right there in this moment.
young girl in elementary school, I noticed how much my sister Mary loved God. From an early age, her deep commitment to her Christian faith was clear. She eagerly attended Sunday school, church services, youth activities, tent meetings, and more. Her faith was evident in all aspects of her life. As I think back on the memories that we shared over the years, I think about Seymour Avenue, how we grew up there, and how special Seymour Avenue was to us. Uh, as children. I also think about the connection that we had in church. Uh, we went to First Baptist and then we went to Miracle Temple uh, where we joined and where we gave our life to God uh, and how we continue to build that relationship with God. I can remember a time when my mother, Mary had to convince my mother that wearing pants wasn't a sin. Because my mother was like, now Mary, you know, or even when the choir was in choir that was seen, she would say, they gotta cover up, they can't be showing and exposing themselves. So my mother always taught us to be women of God. Mary's journey with George from their teenage years to marriage and ministry is a testament to her unwavering support and dedication. I couldn't be prouder of her growth into a powerful woman of God. I admire the beautiful relationships she has built with women from all walks of life and the impact she has made on many. Her positive influence will surely continue to touch countless lives. Above and all, a 
above all thrones and dominion, all powers and possessions. Your name, it stands above them all and the angels cry. Oh, holy, come on, sing it. All creation cry. You are holy. You are lifted high. Holy, holy forever. And if you've been forgiven, and if you've been redeemed, sing the song forever. Oh 
holy Lord. I found it to be true. You are holy Lord. Worthy is your name. I can't help but sing. I can't help but join with the angels.
into holiness. It's not about our clothes. It's about the posture of our heart. We thank you for your holiness, God. Holy forever. We love you and we bless you and we glorify your name. There is none like you in all the earth. Oh, you're all together. Oh, you're wonderful. Abba! Abba! We love you. Daddy, we love you. We're your daughters. And we love you. We thank you. Oh God, I pray when you will anoint these lips of clay. That I will speak those things that will strengthen and edify and encourage the women and men of God. I pray that you will be glorified. Oh, God, and the people will be edified. In Jesus' name, amen. Somebody say, in Jesus' name. name. One more time for the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name. Oh, my God. He is good. And his mercies endureth forever. Oh, you may be seated if you can. surrender. I decrease so you can increase, God. Oh, God. I thank you. Oh, okay. Mm, Glory to God. Oh. Thank you, Jesus. We need God encounters. These are moments that we have that you have a unique experience with God that helps you to define your walk with the Lord to let you know the absolute that God is real 
That's what an encounter is all about. I have so many definitions. I have all the stuff I studied. Amen. God bless. Whew. No, I was seriously laboring, okay? And I said, God, I want you to have your way. That's always the ultimate that he has his way. And so from the beginning of the service, it started with prayer, with testimonies, with just singing the songs of the Lord and worshiping him. Like my husband said, it's really, preaching is great and good, but it's the worship. It's your worship to the Lord. Because a lot of times we get excited about messages and, you know, we go from revival to revival to conference to conference. But what, what has anything changed in our lives? Do we still hunger and thirst for his righteousness? Do we still go, go hard for God like a deer that panteth after the water? That's what God wants us to have, an encounter with him, our own personal. We have corporate times that we come together and the spirit of the Lord is there as it is now. But there's times that God would do this for you right at your home, right there with your children, right there with your husband, right there with your wife, right there with your family, right? And your singleness, you can have encounter with God. <laughs> Glory to God. He is no respecter person. And he wants us to be filled with his spirit. Filled with his power. Filled with the Holy Ghost. I know some of y'all call it the Holy Spirit. Amen. You know, I grew up, it was the Holy Ghost. That with a mighty burning fire. Woo, God, we had to be sanctified and filled with the Holy Ghost. And how about we still need to be sanctified? We still need to be purified. We need God. We need God. And we need the more of him. Amen. I'm going to just give us a, a homily today. Amen. I put my glasses on so I can see right. Praise Jesus. In the book of Luke in the 8th chapter and verse 43, it's a very familiar passage of scripture. But I believe the word says that faith cometh by hearing. And hearing by the word of God. So the more you hear God's word, the more your faith increases. And so I want to just share this encounter that my sister girl had. And it says, and a woman having an issue of blood 12 years. She spent all her living upon physicians. Neither could be healed of any. Came behind him and touched the borders of border of his garments garment and immediately her issue of blood staunch verse 45 and Jesus said who touched me come on Jesus for I perceive that virtue is gone out of me and when the woman saw that she was not hid, she came trembling and falling down before him. She declared unto him before all the people for what cause she had touched him and how she had got healed immediately. And verse 48, it says, and he said unto her, daughter, be of good cheer. Thy faith has made thee whole. Go in peace. And this is the word of the Lord. Daughters, be seated. When somebody call you a daughter, you got relationship. Woo, my God. Okay, focus, Mary. Get your notes together. Get yourself together. Okay, here we go. There are so many women in the Bible that I can talk about that had encounters with our Savior. And we can explore the different stories and, the, and how profound every encounter was. And it was, it was just so amazing that what God had did in their lives. Each of them um, was, was able to bring about a unique perspective and an experience that enriched their understanding of faith. So we had Hagar in, in Genesis. She was the, the servant of Sarah. She encountered God in the wilderness. 
after fleeing from her mistress, God sees her distress and speaks to her. Come on. He's still speaking to us and, and offered her comfort and a promise regarding her son. Ishmael, come on. I need y'all to study the Bible. Come on, people of God. This encounter emphasizes God's care for the marginalized. So many times we think it's just for those who've been saved all their life, but God still got a plan for all of us. God still loves all of us. No matter what mistakes we made along the way and bad decisions, but God still has a plan for our lives. And so we go throughout the Bible and we begin to understand that there were so many women that God used and allowed them to have have an experience. Miriam, the sister of Moses, she played a crucial role in the Exodus story. In Exodus 15, after the Israelites crossed over the Red Sea, she led the women in worship and praise to God, celebrating his deliverance. This is what Miriam did. And then I'm going to skip through some things and I'm going to go to Ruth since that's my middle name. And while Ruth's story is in the book of Ruth, it is primarily about loyalty and love she encounters God's providence and grace throughout her journey as, as God blessed her with a man that loved her and God showed her redemption and he showed her his faithfulness and then we got Mary the mother of Jesus come on somebody in Luke 1 and 26 Mary receives the angel Gabriel a message and telling her she's about to bring forth a child and his name shall be called Jesus and her response at first she was a little scared but then once she realized that God had a plan she began to say oh my soul does magnify the Lord she made him bigger than her fears she made him bigger than her doubts she made him bigger than what the people was going to say about him because now she was filled with faith and submission because she had an encounter with God the Samarian woman at, in the book of John and, and Jesus speaks about her at the well. How many women been to the well? I don't know about you, but there were some times in my life I had to go to the well. I had to go there and get in his face. I had to go there and say, God, take me deeper. Take me deeper in your face. Take me deeper in your presence so I can have an encounter with you. And then you got Mary Magdalene. After Jesus' resurrection, she encounters the risen Savior. How many women have encountered the risen Savior? She understood that she was the first one to witness and proclaim the resurrection. And she emphasizes her vital role in the early church. And women of God, we play a major role uh, in the body of Christ. Uh, not only that we can bear children, but God has called us because there is an assignment on our lives. So all of these women uh, reminds us in their diverse ways uh, how God encountered with them, uh, how they had faith along their journey. And sometimes the journey got rough, uh, but they kept pressing in God. They kept persevering. They kept trusting God. Uh, and they kept believing that God was on their side. They had an encounter with God. Now, quickly, let me go to the story of, of this woman right here. And, and, you know, she had an issue of blood, and we've been talking about this woman from well over maybe 50 years. My God. But every time I read it, I get something out of it. That's what the Word of God should do. You should still get a revelation. We don't, the Word don't get stale to us. The Word don't get common to us. The Word is still powerful and quick, and then it's sharper than the two-edged sword. It comes to separate and divide. That's the power of the Word. And when you get an encounter with God, God, and you embrace his word God will give you an experience that nobody can take from you and so here we see this woman with the issue of blood she was truly remarkable she was filled with deep significance and, and it was found in throughout the gospels in Matthew, Mark and, and Luke her encounter with Jesus I don't know about you but I thank God for my encounter with Jesus it always stands out no matter what people say my encounter lets me know that God is still alive so there, there is just some points I want to share and there were some things that took place in the life of this woman. She didn't have a name and she really didn't care. You know, some people, you want people to call your name, but long as your name is written in the Lamb Book of Life, you ain't got to worry about calling my name. And so here we are, this woman, she didn't care about her name. She didn't care about her title. She just wanted to get to Jesus. She had heard about him and she said, oh, 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 if I can just get it. It was, and you know, Jesus was, it was so many people around him. You know, 
when you go to a concert, it'd be so many people, you'd be squeezing through the door. Everybody trying to go. Everybody trying to be there. But this woman said, I, I, I'm just going to make up my mind. I done been to all these doctors and I done gave them all my money. But I, I really believe that when I get there, when I get there, she had a spirit of expectation. When I get in the, in the space, when I get in the area, when I get in the room, she understood the power and the encounter of her Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. So the first thing this woman had, she had a desperation and, he, and she had faith. She had a desperation and she had faith. She had a desperation and she had faith. I just wanted to say that a few more times because some of you came in here a little desperate tonight. And I want you to stay desperate for Jesus. I want you to stay hungry for Jesus. This woman has suffered for 12 years with a chronic condition that not only caused her physical pain, but it also made her unclean according to the Jewish laws. So this meant that she was isolated. You know, sometimes people got clicks that they won't let you in. And so that's why she felt like, oh my God, I don't belong. And they pulled me out from the community. And it was all because of religious practices. Her desperation led her to believe that she could just touch the hem of Jesus' garment, that she would be healed. She knew people were gonna talk about her. She knew people was gonna put it on social media, but she said, I I really don't care I just want to be healed so this was an act of faith and the Bible says that the just shall live by faith I got saved because I had faith to believe that God would wash me and cleanse me from every one of my sins I couldn't name all my sins all I had to do was submit it to him and he washed me the blood stills work he washed me the blood still works he washed me I'm about to tell you, let him wash you today let him cleanse your mind let him cleanse your heart let him cleanse your spirit this was an act this was an act of faith and this act of faith was incredibly powerful and also not only was she desperate and have faith she was courageous how many courageous women do I have in the house tonight how many courageous women that are online tonight I need you to put it in the comment section I'm courageous I'm strong I'm powerful I'm anointed oh you got to speak it out and put it in the atmosphere when the enemy comes in like a flood you gotta lift up a standard you gotta speak what God says I'm strong and courageous I can go to battle I'm a warrior I can do all things through Christ because he gives me strength even when I feel like I'm down but he's a lifter of my head he's a lifter of my spirit oh won't you let him lift you up tonight she had courage she was desperate she had faith as she was approaching Jesus in the crowd, it took a lot of faith. It took immense faith. Oh, yes, it did. Given her condition, let me just say that, she risked public shame. Oh, my God. You know, because you already know. You, you know how we are. If somebody talk about us, then we just crawl up on the rock. But this woman said, I don't care what you say about me. I'm going on out there and get to Jesus. I know you may ostracize me. I know you may do it. But she was determined to seek God for healing. She didn't care about the people because she understood that she wanted an encounter with God. And then she had a personal encounter. Unlike many other healings throughout the gospel where Jesus actively sought out the sick, Jesus would go and he would heal people and he would do all those things, but this woman had to reach out to him. Oh, I don't know if you're in the house tonight, but sometimes you got to reach out. You got to reach all the way out and touch the hem of his garment. You got to reach out and believe that God will give you an encounter with him. And then also she understood restoration and affirmation. Oh, God. After her healing, Jesus called her out, not to shame her, but to affirm her faith publicly. Oh my God, he addressed her as daughter, which is a term of endearment, and indicated her restored status in the community. Come on, somebody. Her faith was, had made her whole. He said, go in peace. Be free from your suffering. Not only did he restore her health, but he also restored her dignity and her place within society because she was cast away. And you know when you alone, the enemy tries to mess with your mind. He have you thinking all kinds of things. He got, he got you thinking everybody talking about you. 
But that's the tricks that he tries to play. Come on, come on. We ain't got time for tricks and treats no more. We got we to gotta walk in the power of God. We got to walk in the anointing of God so we can encounter his presence. And then she also was a symbol of faith. I talked about desperation and faith for her story. Her story. Tell somebody, I got a story. I got a story. This is my story. I know you got a story, but I got my own story. I got my own testimony. I know what God did for me. Somebody else may have been de delivered from that, but let me tell you what God delivered me from. I got a story, and I'm going to tell it. I'm going to tell it on a mountaintop because the enemy not going to hold me hostage to my past anymore. I don't care. Somebody whispering, what you whispering about? Oh, yeah. I did that oh I did that but God came and changed my life I had an encounter with God so it does so no matter how bad the situation looks your faith can lead you to miraculous outcomes your faith can lead you to miraculous outcomes. So we got to, y'all sit down, you're making me nervous. So overall, I'm, I'm wrapping up, I'm wrapping up, put a bow on it, amen, praise God. A pink bow, a pink bow, praise God. The encounter of this woman with the issue of blood with Jesus is such a beautiful, beautiful testament to faith, courage, and a transformative power. That's what an encounter does. It transforms you. It's a renewing of your mind. It brings about the power of love and healing. It reminds us that everyone is worthy of compassion and that faith can lead to incredible change. I want to say that again. Everyone is worthy of compassion. Don't you dare look down on nobody. If it had not been for the grace of God, his amazing grace over your life and even some of us made some mistakes but he still gave us his grace his unmerited favor was over our life and I sit down I was looking at the video y'all all that was a big old surprise and I'm boohooing and everything looking at Seymour Avenue and I said good things come out of Brick City Newark New Jersey my God and wherever you from, you, all, you need to look at somebody and say, child, let me tell you, God is working in my life. So you don't look down on anybody. You don't despise small beginnings. You start, thank God, I thank you right here, right where I am, God. I may not have everything I want, but I know I got you, God. I know you're going to be with me. You said you'll never leave me nor forsake me. You're going to give me power to overcome the works of darkness. You're going to give me what I need, God, to have an encounter with you. Oh, God. Y'all stop. Y'all stop. Oh, God. As we continue to walk this weekend with the Father, he's gonna give you not just one encounter because there's more than one encounter, Charmaine. As I look over my life, I've seen the different encounters that God has done. It was a progression that he has been doing in my life and I'm just only can speak from my side but I know you have a story as well there was progression there was times that you may have not felt worthy I felt insecure I just said Lord how can you use me I don't have no college degree I don't have you know the first thing you go to is what you don't have did he ask you what he already know what you don't have he know you got a GED amen I did graduate from Malcolm X Shabazz praise the Lord Hallelujah. But God has some more stuff in store. He's got more in store. He got more encounters. If you, once you just surrender to God, God will show you his transformative power. He did it for the women throughout the Bible. He began to speak to them and, and, and show them his hand, not just what he could just give them, but he was showing them that I am your source and your resource. And an encounter will come to each and every one of us as we're in this journey this weekend. 
I believe that as we come hungry for God, looking unto him who is the author and the finisher of our faith, trusting in God, knowing that he's ordering our steps. Come on. Some of you got on planes and trains and buses to be here, and you came with a spirit of expectation. And I want you to know that God is going to meet you right where you are. And not just meet you, but he's going to take you higher. I, I need about 500 women to say, Higher! Woo, I felt a breakthrough. I felt a ceiling crash. I felt something break. Higher. Glory to God. You're not, you're not leaving here the same way. This is not a traditional saying. This is not a cliche. This is a reality. When you come looking for God, he will, oh my God, he will pour into you as you lift up your cup. God says, I'm pouring, I'm pouring, I'm pouring, and I'm going to pour an overflow, not just for you, but for your sister, for your oh my shata, for your God sister, for your sister you just met tonight. God says, I'm pouring out my spirit upon all flesh. We are living in the last days. And Jesus is coming back. He's not coming back for a building. He's coming back for the church. We are the church. We are his people. We are his daughters. We are his sons. And he wants us to have an encounter so we can tell somebody else. If God did it for me, he'll do it for you. Put your hands together and say an encounter with God. Woo, an encounter. An encounter. An encounter with God. He stopped the bleeding. He stopped the bleeding for this woman. And I want to pause right there because some of you bleeding tonight. You're still bleeding. Some of the stuff that's happened in your past, you're still bleeding from it. Some of you are 55 years old, but you're still bleeding from that 10-year-old 10, year ex, 10 year old experience. You're still bleeding. Your heart is still heavy. Somebody tampered with you and touched you in the wrong way, and you're still bleeding. You feel like, why God, he didn't protect me? Why did this happen? And we know that God is sovereign, but tonight I want you to know he's coming to stop the bleeding. He's going to stop the bleeding. He's going to heal your heart, not just your body, because he told the woman, he said, and your faith will make you whole. Wholeness is spirit, soul, and body. Because so many times when we speak of this woman, we always talk about her physical healing. But God did a work on her. He says, I want you to be whole, daughter. I want you to go in peace. I don't want you to have no more nights of torment. I don't want you to be scared when you go out. I don't want you, I don't want that for you no more. I want you to have an encounter with me so you can be free. That you don't gotta bleed no more. You ain't gotta almost shut up. You ain't gotta keep talking about it and rehearsing that story anymore. Oh my God, some of you still talking about it and you give it power to that pain. But God said tonight, release it. Release it. Release the pain. Release the bleeding. Stop the bleeding. You've been hemorrhaging for years. And you've been going to the doctors and they don't know what's wrong with you. I know we thank God for the medical doctors, but there are some things that only God can do. Because your heart is bleeding. And I know this is an organ in our body and we got to take good care of it. But there's some things that have happened in your heart that you've been, up, you've been bitter. You've been, you've been offended. And you got bitterness all in the root of your heart and your mind. And you, oh my God, tonight when it started off the service, the service it talked about forgiveness and healing and, and going through grief. And that God says, tonight I want you to be made whole. The bleeding is going to stop tonight. God, I thank you for every woman that's under the sound of my voice. I pray tonight, God, that you will heal their bodies. You will heal their minds. You will heal their spirit. Every broken woman, oh God, I pray that you will put it back together again. You have a plan for her life. You formed her in a mother's womb. She's not a mistake. And I thank you, Jesus, that you come to heal her. In Jesus' name. And if you are one of those women, I need you to put your hand up right now. Ain't no shame in nobody's game tonight. I need you to put your hand up. Hobo Shana, I need us to begin to pray right now. For every one of my sisters that got their hands up. Hobo Shatai. That's a sign of surrender. That means you're giving it to the Lord tonight. I'm shifting right now. I'm shifting right now. Come on with me, people of God. I know I got notes, but I'm moving by the Spirit. Hallelujah. God says, I come to heal you. I don't know, some of you may want to come to the altar, but right where you are, God says, I'm healing you. 
He's going to The memory won't sting you anymore. The memory won't hold you hostage anymore. The memory won't cause the spirit of tormenting, the torment to come over you. You can come if you want to. You can come. There's no pressure on anyone, but I know what the Lord said tonight as he gave me this message. And I kept saying, Lord, this is something they've already heard. God, I, you know, you be, God, I, what, what, give me something else. God, God said, no, right here. Stay right here, Mary. Stay right here. And I said, yes to your will and yes to your way, God. The bleeding, the bleeding has to stop. Oh, he's breaking generational curses. He's breaking generational patterns. There's some patterns that have been going on in your family line. If those you not coming, I need you, the rest of y'all, I need you to pray. I need you to pray in the spirit. Hallelujah. Because I've been right here where they've been. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Stop the bleeding. Stop the bleeding. This encounter tonight. Cry out. A couple of weeks ago, I was in Washington talking about cry out. Now I must cry out to God. Hallelujah. I'm just going to wait on the Lord. Y'all just give me a minute right here. Robo, this is crucial. Glory to God, because you know, when you're doing heart surgery, the doctors got to be, got to be, make, make sure that they get it right. They got the valves. They got to clean out some areas in the arteries. My God. They've been blocked. They've been blocked. The arteries, some of you got 100% blockage. Whoa, glory to God. But God says today, I come to cleanse your heart. Yes, yes, yes. I come to stop the, ble the bleeding. Well, I keep going back to that. Stop the bleeding. And I need you to begin to talk to the Father right now. Talk to your Father. Talk, tell him what he already knows, but he needs you to speak it and say what it is. So you can stop giving it power. And you know that the higher one got the power, God is the greatest power and we shall not be defeated come on people of God pray in the spirit pray 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 like your life depends on it pray like this is your daughter pray like this is your sister pray pray for this encounter of freedom to come we begin with freedom whether you're 18 or 88 God says stop the bleeding come to make you whole 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 hallelujah give it to him give it to him we, we've been to therapy and that's good because Jesus and therapy go together but don't, put, don't, don't trump therapy over Jesus Jesus trumps therapy hallelujah and I've been to therapy and I'm not against it but I need you to have a relationship with God. So when you go to your Christian therapist, they can work it together. Glory to God. They'll know how to come in and combat the, the plan of the enemy over your life. Woo, glory. Oh God, we push, we press in you tonight, God, for the supernatural miracle to take place, Father. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord, we kneel before you. We bow down. We bow before you. Humbly submit, humble submission to you, God. You're the great God. Oh, you're greater than all of our problems. You're great, you're great and you're mighty. You do great things, you do miracles. And so tonight we pray for a miracle, miracles, miracles to take place, God. You're a miracle working God. You're a supernatural God of our salvation. You come to make us whole. Oh, my Sata. The Lord says, once. Hey, Banan Sata. Oh, Bobo Sata. Oh, Nene Amasa. Once and for all. I come. Yama Shekeya Rabasa Tabosha. I come to give you wholeness. 
Just cry out. Cry out to him. Cry out. Release it. Release it. Stop suppressing it and release it. Hi, I'm on Sunday. Hold. Make a hold, Jesus. We thank you for this now. In Jesus' name. Oh, I need somebody to say, in Jesus' name. Heal. Heal. He stopped the blood. The bleeding is stopped. Oh, sapphire. Just lift your hands. Lift your hands up a little high. Get them up high. God is, he's higher than every one of your problems. Every one of your situations. God says, tonight, I am a bosha. Yanamasa. Amasha. Yes. Yeah, God. The bleeding has stopped. The bleeding has stopped. The bleeding has stopped. Your daughter will not bleed. Your sons will not bleed. Because tonight, I break it. Hallelujah. Somebody stay with her and pray with her. Stay with her and pray with her. Come on, I need some sisters in the kingdom that will travail. That will almost. Oh, my say, I'm on the road. Yeah, my son. Yeah, my son. Oh, my son. Yeah, 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 my son. By Jesus stripes we are healed. Healing is the children's bread. Hey, Abasaya Bobo Shataya. Robo Koshe Abasadia. Heal, heal, heal.
Their ladder will be greater. Their ladder will be greater. Come on, say, heal. Oh, my God, heal. Heal. He comes to set us free and to heal us. Oh, Rabasa. Let your healing virtues go out to every woman, every daughter that's at this altar, God. Hallelujah. Everyone that's online, Robo Shah, some have been in abusive relationships. You may not have came to this altar, but God says, I come to heal you. And you're, you don't deserve it. You don't deserve that life. You don't deserve that. He says, I come to give you life and that more abundantly. The enemy comes to steal, to kill, and to destroy. Jesus came to give us life. Life. Every familiar spirit, I bind it in the name of Jesus. I'm just picking up things as I go in the spirit. Horabasa. Some of you grew up in an abusive home and you said I would never be in a relationship with an abusive man. But because of a familiar spirit, it pulled you right in. It lured you right in. But God says, I break him out, Shataya. The spirit of the breaker comes. Hey! Break, 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 break back the back of the enemy. Break and give us breakthrough as we break forth. Break up the follow ground. Break. Break every assignment in the name of Jesus. I felt some break. I felt some break. Hey, I felt some break. Break every chain. Break. Break. Break it. Whoa. Desperate for you guys. Break every chain. Give us courage to break every chain. Woo. I speak restoration. Woo. I speak affirmation over your daughters tonight. They are worthy. They're worthy. They're worthy. And let them see themselves as you see them, God. Beautiful and whole. Woo, glory. Let's just hang out there just for a, about another 60 seconds. Because I don't want you to leave and go back to those belly elements. I want you to be free tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you have your prayer language, begin to pray in the spirit. There's some areas that you don't even you don't even know what to say. That's why you gotta go in the spirit. You gotta go in the groaning, the traveling. If you don't have your prayer language, just begin to lift your hands. And the Holy Ghost is a gift. You can receive it on tonight. It's not just for the ministers. It's not just for the leaders. It's for also whoever believe. Whoever believe, God says, I'll save you. And I'll fill you with the power of the Holy Ghost. Almost oh, shot. All you got to do is say, God, fill me right now. Fill my heart. Fill my mind. Fill my spirit. Like you did the day of Pentecost. You filled them. They came on one accord, huh? and you begin to feel them. Huh? Oh my God, it was like fire. It was like fire. The fire came to burn up everything that's not like God. Huh? Burn it up. Burn it up, God, huh? and give us the fire of the Holy Ghost. Woo! Purify us tonight, God. Oh God. We need you tonight, God. We thank you for this time, and we thank you for this encounter. I thank you for every woman. And if there's somebody, to, can somebody just stand next to somebody? Don't leave nobody alone. Hallelujah. I know some of you may be ushering. Just put everything down, tissues and, and our lap scarves and everything, and just begin to touch somebody at this altar. I don't want anybody to be left alone. We need each other. We need each other. This is not about embarrassment. It's not none of that, okay? We need, we need the sisterhood. Yeah, yes, we need the sisterhood. Yes. 
All right, y'all got it. If you're in the audience, if there's a sister next to you, just get a little closer. And I wanted us to do a 60-second prayer. A Mary and Elizabeth prayer. Hallelujah. It says at the sound, <laughs> at the sound of her greetings, that the baby leaped inside of her. Oh, some of y'all take that for granted. Some of y'all take it lightly. I've been reading that for a long time. And when I connect with my sister, I'm looking for something to happen. I'm looking for something to happen. Pastor Mary ain't got to touch me. Jesus touch you. Like he touched a woman with the issue of blood. Oh my God. And he didn't even have to really touch her. It was her touch. It was her reach. And it stopped the bleeding immediately. So I need you to pray with your sister. Pray like God's about to do it. Pray for an encounter with God. Pray because it's power in prayer. Pray because it's your weapon. Pray. He says, if my people, which are called by my name, if we will humble ourselves and pray. I need you to pray up in here, women of God. Pray, pray, pray. Almost, child, you got 30 more seconds. Push, push. Pray until something happens. Push. Oh, God. There it is. There it is. Hey, God. Oh. God, I'm not trying to make something happen because something already happened. God, yes, Lord, my God, my God, my God, my God, my God. They used to tarry until something happened. They used to homo shot. And the whole time they be saying, Jesus, 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 J-S-U-S, 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 J-S-U-S. Homo mo sadaya. Woo! She avanza. She avanza ta. Omobosa. Hey. Glory to God. Do it, Holy Ghost. Do what only you can do. Hey, hey, hey. Let them touch you, God. Let them touch the hem of your garment. Yes, God. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Oh. Yes, Lord. Not my son. Miracles, signs, and wonders. Miracles, signs, and wonders. He's given us miracles, signs, and wonders. He's a wonder to my soul. I love him. He's wonderful. I need you to start wondering about God. He's so bad. He's so great. He's so mighty. He's omnipresent. Woo! I was just stomping on the head, the head of the enemy. I just felt a stomp. I just felt a stomp. You got to stop on the enemy. You can't have my family. You can't have my mind. You can't have my body. You can't have it because I belong to Jesus. I'm his daughter. I'm his child. I'm his handmaiden. I've been brought with a price. I'm 
the king's daughter. Woo, glory to God. Hallelujah. Oh, my, my, my side. I'm trying to stop. I want to let y'all go home. So if you got to go, I love you. Grace and peace. But there's some people that need another encounter with God. And I want to be right there when you come all the way through. When you have your baby, I want to be right there. I want to say, girl, I know it was 18 hours when you tried to birth it. But tonight God says, I'm changing time. I'm giving you chronos time. And something's going to happen suddenly. There's a sudden move. There's a sudden mama shataya encounter. I need you to stay. God, do it for me. Do it for me, Holy Ghost. Woo! Hey, God, I thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. All right, mother. That's right. Oh, mama mom daniels mom you gonna live and you will not die you gonna live 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 mama i know you praising god but i just want you to know that god's gonna keep your mind I know that the enemy keeps telling you that you're going to go have dementia, you're going to have Alzheimer's, but the devil is a liar. Your mind will be sharp, your mind will be keen, and you're going to live as long as you want, and never want as long as you live. You will live. Come on and give God praise, her mother. Lay hands on her mind, her daughters. Lay hands. Bria or Brittany, whichever one it is. Lay hands on mom's mind. Lay hands on her. Granddaughter. Where's Lisa? Obo Shandara Satai. Urabas with her daughter, Lisa. Yikabasa. Okay. All right, but she watching, but we got you covered. Come on, just I know I know y'all gotta go. Braba Sataya. Pray. Pray. Because the enemy's even trying to fight her while we praying right now. Basata. Bobo Ko, Yikabasa, Yekebesha, break, 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 break the cycle. Yabasataba, and give her a miracle. Give her a miracle, God. Because out of your bellies, from rivers of living water, life, purpose, destiny, Yabasha, wisdom, knowledge, understanding shall flow from you, mom. We speak it, we decree it, and we declare it in Jesus' name. One more say. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Woo! One more shot. Ah, hallelujah. Go ahead, mother. Go in. Mother, go all the way in. Go all the way in, mom. Because we got you. Yes. Glory, 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 glory. Thank you, Lord. I'm trying to move, but I'm telling you, right? God's got me right here, right here. God is, mom is done. In Jesus' name. And then start thanking him right now. Start thanking him right now. It's done. Every prayer request. Every prayer request. Every petition that came forward on tonight. Everyone that was online and was a participating in this service tonight. We thank you for their freedom. We thank you for their deliverance. 
We thank you that the bleeding has stopped. We thank you that you are breaking the cycle. We thank you that the spirit of the breaker comes to break the enemy's plan and cause us to break forth and to break through. We thank you for this now and we give you praise in Jesus' name. I need you to praise God. I need you to open your mouth, lift your hands. I don't know how he do you, but I know I'm gonna give him a praise. Praise is my weapon. No weapon, no weapon formed against you. It's not gonna prosper. You can go back to your seats if you can, but I need you to turn around like a conversion just took place. Oh my God, I'm free. I'm walking back a different woman. I'm free. I'm almost shot I'm free. I'm free. I'm free. I'm free. I'm free. I'm free. You're free in Jesus' name. Almost shy. Go, go free. Go for it. Go for it. Go for it. In Jesus' name. Glory to God. All right. So what we gonna do? We gonna put a praise on it for about 30 seconds. Now let me tell you something. When it comes to praise, you don't have to wait for something to hit you. Because the praise, the praiser is already in you. You ain't gotta dance like nobody else. You ain't gotta skip like nobody else. But I need you to give God a praise. A praise that he is worthy of. And now some of you say, Pastor Mary, I don't know how to do all that. If you need to leap, whatever you need to do. But what we gonna do, we gonna do it together. Because my sisters got free. My sisters are going back home different. They had an encounter with God. So we gonna rejoice because they're rejoicing. You are supposed to rejoice with those who are rejoicing. So we gonna thank God for the healing, for the miracles, for oh my, that the bleeding has stopped. We thank you, Jesus. So we gonna give you praise. Are we going to give him praise? Lift your hands and give him a started doing because you know it's, it's you know when I usually give God a praise you know in the Pentecostal church that's a lot a, a flavor here when we dance we be going I need you to put your head up are we ready Marines, 
Is there a Deborah anointing in the house? All right, y'all on beat, come on. Oh, put your hands together and give God thanks. I'm glad that the Lord met us today, tonight, in this. All right, David, you better go ahead and praise him. I don't know if I got the strength right now, but this young man, and people. But you know what? A praise is contagious. I know I was tired. But I feel God tonight I believe tonight that the bleeding has stopped because we have encountered God we reached out to him tonight because sometimes we just want to be asking him but sometimes you gotta bust a move and say God I need you I can't do this without you amen so I need you to come back tomorrow night amen those of you that are leaving could you just pause for a minute because we want to give the benediction amen we want to give the benediction we want the covering to be over us as we leave this place but never from his presence amen I thank God for your commitment to come out and those of you that are online I thank God for you as well I believe that God was pleased with us on this evening because we are surrendering to him I encourage you to tell someone to join us on tomorrow evening. I know people have registered. Registration is free. Prophetess Barbara Calloway is an anointed woman of God. And she's going to minister on tomorrow night. So we put quite a few things in tonight. But I'm going to put her up a little early so she can let the Lord do what he wants to do through her and use her mightily in this house. So I encourage you to Make sure you get here on time. And I just want to say this, when, when prayer is going on, I, I need us to be focused in. We got to focus in because distractions are easy. When people start talking, you be like, excuse me, we're, we're in prayer. You don't have to be nasty or sharp, but we're, we're in prayer. We're setting the atmosphere. Can we pray together? This is, this is what we need to do. We're, we're making disciples out of others because some people just don't know. And it's nothing, it's, it's nothing bad, but they don't know. But when they see us praying, we're honoring God and we're thanking him and we're setting again the atmosphere for the service of the Lord, for someone to be saved. And I don't want to leave here tonight without opening this altar for anyone that may not know the Lord as your personal savior. We want you to know that Christ died so you can live again. If you're a backslider, 
you have slipped away and things have happened in your life and as I say, life was life in it. You just was like, you know what? I, I don't even know what I believe anymore. I want you to know that God is going to give you this encounter so that you will be strong in him. You will have an experience with him. If you're here tonight, whether you're in person or online, I, I just ask God. I said, Lord, I, I can't do a service without making sure I have an altar call. In my message, I had some things I was going to talk about the altar the sacrifice, the altar, it's, it's so much in that. I encourage you just to continue to study the word as well. But if you're here and I need everyone to just be prayerful in this moment, we don't ever want to take it for granted. We don't want anyone to feel bad. Nobody's, listen, we are all in this thing together. I've been to the altar saved for a long time, but then there's something was in my life. I said, oh, I got to go. Let me get right up here. Praise Jesus. I wasn't even worried about, she a first lady, a first lady that needs Jesus, okay? A first lady that's as serious about her walk with the Lord. There's an altar here. There's an altar here. But if you're here, just, just raise your hand and, and if you want to be saved tonight, you want to give your heart to the Lord. Is there one? Is there one? Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. All right. So that means that we're rapture ready? All right. That's how I grew up, Simone. Yes. That means that if Jesus cracked the sky, you going up. Because you ain't going to have time to be like, Lord, forgive me, Jesus. It ain't no time in a moment of the quickening of an eye. He's coming back, people of God. We can't play with this no more. It's an urgency. I know I'm, I'm, I'm trying to bring it in. It's an urgency. We got to get it right. We got to forgive. We got to ask God, Lord, help me. I want to be right. I want my life to be pleasing unto you. If you're here. I will wait at this altar for you. I will give the benediction, but I will wait for you. Christ waited for me. I was a prodigal daughter, but he brought me in. I, my situation may have been different, but I was, I, was, I was not in the right place with God. And I came back, and he had his arms wide open, put a robe on me, and gave me a ring, and gave me some kisses of love. He said, Mary, you know I love you. And that's what he's saying to you tonight. He loves you, whether you're online God loves you. You can let them know online and we will reach out to you. Everyone say, praise God. I'm going to check one more time before I leave here. I'm going to check again. All right, we all good with Jesus? All right. All right. All right. All right. Come on, clap it up. Rapture ready, people. I look forward to seeing you on tomorrow evening. God, I pray that you will bless us as we leave this place. Cover us with the blood of Jesus. We bind accidents, seen and unseen. We thank you that we will be refreshed when we get up in the morning, God. And we are excited about coming back to the house of worship. We come with another spirit of expectation. And we thank you, God, that you healed us tonight. That the bleeding has stopped. And you're going to get the glory out of our lives. And we will walk in this encounter. We will continue to trust you and lean into you, God. And so we say, have your way bless us in Jesus name grace and peace be unto you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ before I say our usual last line is this available tonight somebody help me we got some merch downstairs that's available we got a water bottle we got a candle we got a t-shirt and you got to pay I know Jesus paid it all, but I need you to come on and support us tonight. God bless you. We are. I love you all. Thank you. Grace, grace, and more grace. Thank you, pastors that came to be with us tonight. Yes, thank you. I'm trying to see Gail Watson. Thank you. Pastor Fondrea, thank you. Did, um, there any other pastors? Was Pastor Sylvia here tonight? Sylvia, was Sylvia here tonight, Carney? tomorrow okay that's my girl I love all of you you all of you all are important to me my sister Brenda is in the house and Priscilla I love you we got we came from good stock mother Ida James hey Alicia you're a part of this I love you